So what I want to share today is completely different because we always talk about social media and Facebook and, and all of the, the new stuff. But what I realized on the strip is that the way I built Miriam, which was lifestyle marketing, is still there. And I do it. I just never talk about it. I never leave the house to go do live good, but I always do live good while I'm out. And I've been doing that since I joined in February. And on the strip, it was really right in my face because every single person, I'm not even exaggerating, you guys can ask around, everybody that was on the strip, they recruited somebody like somewhere <laughs> in Ensenada, Mexico, you know. Uh, I recruited both of my Uber drivers on the way to Long Beach from LAX and on the way back. And I mean, it was fun. On the, I mean, we're sitting at night at like one in the morning having food on the top deck and laughing and, and having fun. And there's like this guy from the Philippines. And, you know, I think it was Daniela is giving him like a card. And all of a sudden he's asking questions. I mean, it was a blast. And we're recruiting people everywhere. I'm like, I should go on a cruise every weekend. I don't even <laughs> have to do Facebook anymore. You know, I'll just take the Uber back and forth. And I talk to people on the ship and talk to people in Ensenada. So how do you do lifestyle marketing the right way? Because I think over the past decade, the people that sell courses online uh, that say, oh, are you tired of bothering friends and family and having to harass your waitress? You know, let's do attraction marketing. They want to sell your course. And trust me, depending on where you go, like EMP can go all the way up to $30,000 going to do nothing for you. I promise you. But they really discouraged people to use lifestyle marketing. It's like, it's a bad thing. It's ugly. It's shameful. And it's really not if you do it the right way. So I'm never harassing people. I'm never trying to convince people. I'm not trying to sell people, but I'm talking to people and I'm listening and I'm trying to provide solutions and I'm trying to help them if I can. Right. So like, I'm not going to talk to everybody about live good because I I'm listening for for clues if it's a fit or not. So like mm -hmm. one of my Uber drivers, I'm talking to him and he says, my side job here is Uber, but I'm a copywriter. So I'm like, have you ever considered making money online with your cop copywriting on Facebook? And he's like, no, what do you mean by that? So now I'm helping him because he gave me something that a skill that he has that he's not taking advantage of and I have a solution for him. And when you're solving problems for people, they're always going to want to do business with you. So, you know, instead of going to every single person and vomiting all over them, live good because they're going to be running from you. If you're just having a conversation and you're listening, what how can I help this person? Like, how can I provide value for this individual? If that's how you approach, then you're not salesy. You're not bothering anybody. You're not vomiting all over them because that's the wrong way to do it. So that's the only thing I have to say is if you're going to use lifestyle marketing, and I highly recommend it, like I was at the mall yesterday exchanging some pants and, you know, I'm talking to the lady behind the counter. And, you know, you just, again, you listen for, for clues, you know, because it was taking forever because the system was running slow. So I'm chatting for 15 minutes. And then I make a an executive decision, whether this is somebody I want to approach or not, uh, you kind of probe a little bit, you have to kind of like um, qualify them, right? You want to qualify people as you're talking to them. Um, so, you know, if somebody tells you, yeah, you know, right now I'm going through a really hard time and I, I'm really not interested in anything, you're not going to be like, oh my gosh, it's because you haven't heard of Ben Glinsky yet. He's been in the industry for 25 years and Dr. Ryan good, good can formulate these products. It's going to change your life. No, no, no. Let it like, don't attack people. Don't vomit all over them, but do provide solutions and provide value and listen, just listen for clues. Like this is the right person. And if it is like, for example, with the Uber driver, uh, well, the first one going to, to Long Beach, um, you know, he said, yeah, this is a side gig. He had a brand new, brand new Lexus. And he's like, I need to pay for the Lexus. So that's why I'm <laughs> driving Uber. And so I said, well, it sounds like you're very entrepreneurial and you really be believe in the gig economy. And he's like, yes. I said, well, that's what I do for a living because you are entrepreneurial. Are you open to taking a look at another opportunity? And he said, yes. And I said, can I find you on Facebook? So I don't ask for people's phone numbers or email addresses. I ask if they would be okay connecting on Facebook because it's not very intrusive. You know, everybody's on Facebook. And he said, yes. So I found him on Facebook. 
And I said, I'm going to send you a link. Just watch a five minute video. Guys, as soon as I say that, I go, have you ever been on a cruise? I want to drop mm -hmm. it, right? Like, I'm not selling anything. I am not the message. I'm just the messenger. So I'm just asking him if he would be open because he's so entrepreneurial. He likes the gig economy. Would he be open to taking a look at an opportunity? Would he be open to watching a five minute video? He said, yes, let me find you on Facebook. And then I changed the subject. So where it goes wrong, and I've done that back in the 90s, where I would talk people out of it. Somebody would be like, I was in send out cards. And it was like, I'm ready to join. And I would continue to talk for another 20 minutes until they said, I think I need to think about it. So you ask if they're open to see the message. You're the messenger. If they say yes, you drop it. Then you're like, have you ever been on a cruise before? Where do you live? How many kids do you have? It just changed the subject.